All right, well today we're going to be uh, replacing this rear view mirror. Uh, as you can see, the the motor mounts are broke off and the, the glass is, I still have the glass and it's fine, but the motor mount's broken and it uh, doesn't stick in there, so I'm going to go ahead and replace the whole thing. I don't have the same color, but blue will be all right. So I'll just uh, go ahead and set up the camera here and I'll let you watch. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is remove the window switch and uh, this light back here. I'm doing the window switch, you want to come in from the front with the screwdriver, pop it like that because the back's got this tab and you don't want to break it. Then you can just go ahead and unplug all of these uh, components here, which sometimes is easier said than done. And you'll see that I'm being uh, kind of aggressive with it. It's because I've got uh, got this car for 400 bucks, and I really don't care if I break stuff. You probably want to be a little more careful if you're doing it on your own car. Maybe not. I don't know. I'm not you. But well, once we get this switch out of the way move over to that light and this one just pops out start at the top usually or the bottom wherever we can get it in and then pop it out this one's already been broken I don't need that anyway then we're going to have to take this panel here off, this little Torx screw. And for some reason it's a different size than the other side was. But to take this screw out, and we'll be able to take this little panel off. And unplug the door lock and the panel comes off now we've got two bolts in here one down in here and one in here that need to come and also this one right in here it's easier to get to with a wobble extension or a, a swivel but I seem to have misplaced all my quarter inch drive uh, extensions so I'm going to have to do it the hard way which might take a while. Now that we've got those three bolts out there's going to be uh, six clips one here, one here and four along the bottom so we're just going to put this in and feel around in there and try to find them try to pop them without breaking them I forgot one that's why she wasn't coming off. There's also one straight in there. Now the door panel should just pop loose all the way around. Oop, seven clips. There's one here I missed. And we should be able to pop it upwards once we get it loose. There we go. Not pretty, but it works. We've got clip 
for the window switch. And the door panel is out of the way. Now I'm just going to cut this plastic crap out of my way and toss it. Seven or a four hundred dollar beater car. Don't care. There. Now I have to remove the uh, the speakers here. Only a, a handful of screws holding these in. No big deal there. Finish taking this plastic out. plastic shield that's got to come out, which I'm just going to toss. You can put it back in if you want, but I'm not going to. We've got the, uh, the clip for the mirror, which I'm going to pull away. Alright, that's out of the way. And then I'm going to take two bolts out. I'm going to take this one and this one. And that'll allow me to take this window track <coughs> out of the way and give me more room to get up in here. Now I can move that window track out of the way and just lay it down to the side there is fine, but I'll pull it out and show you. You can feel up top here the edge of the window. Make sure you get that back in the channel when you go to put that bracket back in. Now we've got two nuts up here that need to come out. One of them you can reach with a uh, with a small quarter inch socket and ratchet. But the one farthest over, it's easiest to get with a wrench. If I can find my wrench. Now hopefully these won't be too rusty. And I'll be able to just uh, break it loose and finish taking it out by hand. And there you go. Just feed your uh, your cable back up through there and throw the new one in. Well, there we go. New mirror is on. Door panels back in. And uh, like I said before, I was uh, ripping and tearing and breaking stuff uh, because I was trying to go fast so I didn't have a super long video. But obviously, if you're doing this at home probably want to take your time and be a little more careful but I'm happy my $400 beater now has mirrors on uh, both sides